Hi everyone, this is Maleshwari. Welcome to our channel Chemistry with Maleshwari. Today our topic is Hohn's rule of maximum multiplicity or Hohn's principle of maximum multiplicity. What is Hohn's principle of maximum multiplicity? Okay, so this principle explain about how the pairing of an electron takes place into subshells. So, arc dance loki electrons and navy pairing epud jargali, ela jargali, ani, whom's principle ani di explain chedam jargindi. Okay, now first see the statement. This principle states that electron pairing in any orbital cannot take place until each orbital of the same subshell contains one electron. So, the statement of Hume's principle is electron pairing in any orbital cannot take place until. The meaning is that every orbital slow electron pairing jaragadante. Every varku until each orbital of the same subshell contains one electron. Okay, orbital. Okay, subshell lo unna orbital lo ki. Wokoka electron nindina tarwate electron pairing jaragali and shepherd. So electron pairing in any orbital, ye orbitals lokaina di. So yes, aina, p aina, d or f. Ye orbitals lokaina, electron pairing ye put jaragalante. Subshells lo na orbitals loki, kanisam, electron ane di mundu, wokoka electron nindin tarwata, apudu pairing ane di jaragali. Example, so 2 below 3 electrons in the end. So 1, 2, 3, Elon in Pogodu. So each subshell of an orbital can have an electron each. Okoka orbital low, Okoka subshell low, Okoka electron fill line of Tarvate, we have to pay the electron. Okay, so statement NT electron pairing in any orbital cannot take place until. Each orbital of the same subshell can have one electron. Prati subshell lo unna orbital lo ki wokko ka electron vachi na tarvata apur matra me pairing jaragali. Okay, electron pairing in any orbital cannot take place until electron pairing a orbital lo nae na yappar varku jaragadante each orbital of same subshell contains one electron. So, this substance loki, one electron nindin tarvata matra me pairing jaragali. Okay, now see some of the examples of Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. Let us take an example of carbon. So, carbon. Carbon atomic number 6 means this contains 6 electrons. Carbon atomic number 6, alage, andro 6 electrons untai, 6 protons untai. Okay, how the arrangement of 6 electrons takes place? See, electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Okay, here 1s orbital is like this, 2s orbital is also and 2p orbitals, it has 3 subshells. Okay, so first one is px, py and pz. Okay, so the 2 electrons can be Arranged like this, only two, that's why it can be paid. And here also only two, so it will be paid. And here 2p contains two electrons. So 2p contains two electrons. So the two electrons cannot be paid like this. The two electrons cannot be paid like this. According to Hume's rule, it has, the each subshell can have one electron. And this substance will be one electron fill chase in the matter may upper pairing chayali another. Okay, so 2p2 means 2p x look work electron, 2p y look work electron with the uh, that is up arrow only. Okay, so up arrow to ne manam reprint chayali. There is no opposite spins here. Okay, in the same way, let us take nitrogen. Nitrogen. Atomic number 7 means it contains 7 electrons. Okay. Electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p3 is the electronic configuration of nitrogen. 
Okay, let us take an orbitals here. So the two electrons can be paired here in the two one s, and the two electrons of two s also can be paired here, and three electrons are present in two p three. Okay, three electrons are present in two p three. So that is p x, p y, and p z. So first electron enters into p x, and next one p y, and third one p z. So this is according to Hund's principle. Okay, but the three electrons cannot be paired like this. Okay, so the electron can be paired after it is contains. The electron can be paired after it contains one electron. The subshell of the p orbital contains one electron each. Okka dantlo okka electron unnimpi na tarvata matra me pairing cheyali. So there is no fourth electron. That's why we can't pair here. Uh, we can't pair here. Okay. Now take another third example. That is oxygen. Electrons present in the oxygen is H. Okay. And electronic configuration one s two, two s two, two p four. Let us arrange the electrons. The two electrons can be paired like this in one s orbital. And two s orbitals also can be paired like this, and two p orbital can be filled like this. So p x, p y, p z. So there are four electrons in p orbital. The first electrons can enters into p x, and the second electron enters into p y, and the third electron enters into p z. And still here one electron remains. So that electron will be paired now. Okay, now the pairing of electrons takes place. The each subshell can have one electron each. Okay, and they can have four electrons. Unna ega da anche pesi. E four electron nila pair chey kordu. So E vi danga pairing ani di chey kordu. Okay, so the four electrons can be enters like this. Okay, this is about Hund's principle of maximum multiplicity. Okay. Hund's principle states that the pairing of electrons into any orbital cannot take place until each subshell of the orbital can have at least one electron. Okay, so then only we can pair here. Oko ka electron nimin tarvate next electron sunte apur pair chayal kani. So first nunchi pairing chase kunto pair lakordo. Okay, this is about Hund's rule. I hope you understand. Thank you.